Okay, all right then. Yeah, good morning, Anu. I'm calling from IIT Workforce. Uh, my name is Anjum, and I would like to uh, interview you right now. So, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. And uh, um, how are you, Anjum? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Thanks for this opportunity. Uh, for this opportunity that you gave me. Sure, pleasure is mine as well. So, uh, tell me something about yourself. My name is um, Anu and I've been working as a QA tester for IIT Workforce. Uh, as, as a QA tester, um, I worked on um, MMP project which is Manage My Patient um, and this project uh, allows doctors and clinic admins to efficiently communicate with patients by streamlining and managing patient appointments, sending and receiving messages, ordering prescriptions, search patient history symptoms, find solutions, submit claims to insurance service providers and manage patient bills and payments. MMP is a three-tiered web application developed using Java technology, app service and MySQL as um, database management system. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has four modules, patient, admin, provider and insurance provider module. Um, and I worked on all those modules. Uh, as part of my job, I was involved in analyzing the requirements, um, creating and updating um, testing artifacts. Uh, we used Agile Scrum methodology to track the progress of the project. Um, along with this, um, I was um, also, uh, I also used uh, Load Toad to perform database testing, SOAP UI tool um, to do web services testing, um, uh, and uh, I also performed user acceptance testing. Um, uh, along with these, I have also performed end-to-end -end testing and uh, system integration um, testing of the application. My responsibilities as a QA included um, defect tracking, uh, communicating with the test lead, test manager on regular basis to provide updates about the project. I was part of the scrum meetings to have a better understanding of the business. I am a hardworking and quick learner and if given a chance, I will be a, a great asset to your organization. Okay. Okay, that's, that's wonderful to know. So, what was your role as a QA tester in your recent project? So, as I mentioned before, my recent project was MMP or Manage My Patient and it had four modules, patient, admin, provider and insurance modules and I tested all these modules. My role as a QA tester included um, analyzing the BRD, designing and creating test scenarios, test cases and mapping the test cases to the requirements um, and creating the RTM or requirement traceability matrix. Um, one of the key things that I made sure was to create test cases so it would capture all the requirements and all of these could be tested. Um, I performed exploratory, functional, integration, system, regression, user acceptability types of testing. Not only that, one of the key roles I performed as a tester was um, to find, log, and track the defects using JIRA. Um, and I made sure when I tracked the defects, um, all of the details were captured. Um, I, I was involved in preparing the re reports and I made sure I was on time with the deliverables to the team lead and the stakeholders. I attended daily stand-up meetings where I had updated on what I did the day before, what, uh, if, if what I was going to do um, that day and if I had any obstacles or impediments during my work. I also attended sprint plan meetings and retrospect meetings. I was involved in testing front-end or UI, web services as well as back-end. Um, I used PuTTY tool and Unix commands to check the log messages to bounce the servers uh, as and when the need 
arrived. Um, so these were some of the things I did as a QA tester in my recent project. Anu, um, good morning. This is Sureka. Um, hi, hi Sureka. This is Anu. Nice meeting you. Nice talking yeah. to you. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to interrupt An, uh, Anjum, but I know you have to leave, so I will uh, take over right now. Thank you so uh, much, Sureka. Yes. It was nice talking to you, Anjum. Same here. Hey, Anu, um, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. Great, thanks. Okay, we'll just continue from where we left off. And, uh, I was listening and you were talking about yourself as a um, working on the MMP uh, application. So looks like you have worked on this uh, healthcare domain. And um, tell me something about the test cases that you have uh, written in the MMP application, Anu. So a test case is a detailed step-by-step -step int uh, instruction to test a specific requirement. Now each requirement or uh, or user story can have multiple test cases um, to cover all aspects of that requirement. A test case is can be written either in an Excel sheet or you can use any other test management tool um, to write these test cases. I have excellent experience in writing down the test cases. I can import the test cases in Excel sheet format into any given tool, for example, I have used tools such as HP's uh, ALM or Quality Center, version 1, and Jira. Um, some of the, do you also want me to explain some of the test cases I wrote or? Uh, maybe one or two that you thought were really um, important and that uh, really had an impact on the application, if you can, if, if not, it's okay. Yeah, so one, a few of the test cases I have written, I, I can give example, the simplest example I can give is for the patient module. Uh, in the patient module, one of the first things a patient does when he wants to log into the MMP uh, website is um, to register uh, register as a, as a new patient. And the, the BRD had a lot of requirements where the patient had to enter his first name, last name, his date of birth, social security number, um, etc. And each of these fields had, um, had to meet a specific uh, criteria to be accepted. For, for example, the first name and the last name had to be uh, characters only. Uh, social security number can accept only nine digits. So the test cases I had written uh, I tried to cover both the positive and the negative aspects of that. For example, if you take social security number, I had written test cases where um, I gave nine numbers or nine digits so that the functionality uh, of, of that particular component of the application would be accepted. On the other hand, to test the functionality of, of this particular component, I had written test cases where I had given, uh, I have entered less than nine digits into the social security number field. I had entered um, variable characters in the social security uh, field. Uh, I had entered alphabets and when I tested this functionality of the application with all of these um, negative tests, um, the application had thrown, thrown an error um, saying that the social security number has to be nine digits only. So this is a simple example I can give of all the different facets of the test uh, cases I had covered to just test one functionality of one single component of the uh, of MMP patient module. Okay, great. Great, so you did a lot of the positive and negative testing along with uh, making sure that the actual and the expected uh, conditions are met. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, anu, tell me something about uh, a test plan. Yes. So a test plan document is created by QA Lead. Um, it, it is a document that has all the details related to the project. It is one of the first documents as a QA tester I refer to to obtain information about the objective, the scope, the approach taken, 
to make a project successful, what are the resources, the schedule, the entry and exit criteria, um, the risk, the mitigation methods that are required um, to make the project successful and at the end what are the deliverables. Um, this is as I said usually written by a QA lead but I worked closely with my QA test lead to write part of the test plan which included scenarios, hardware requirements, software requirements, etc. as detailed in the BRD. But given a chance, I'm quite ready to do it. Okay, uh, good. Now tell me, uh, did you say the MMP application was an Agile uh, methodology? Yes, that was the Agile Scrum methodology was what we have used um, uh, during working on the MMP project. Can you tell me what is Agile, Anu? So Agile methodology is an alternative um, software development, uh, software project development methodology um, uh, to the traditional uh, methods like waterfall model. It helps teams to quickly adapt and respond to the changing requirements through incremental, rapid, iterative work development in short periods of time called sprints. Sprints are usually two to four weeks long um, and one of the most popular Agile methodologies employed um, is Agile Scrum. Now, um, Scrum is emphasizes on empirical feedback and team self-management. Now, as I said, most of the most of the work product backlog um, is created with all the known requirements, and the, at the beginning of each sprint, a sprint backlog is created which determines what are the requirements that the team would be working in that particular sprint. Um, uh, the, at the end of each sprint, um, uh, excuse me, uh, during each sprint every day we have scrum meetings, um, stand-up meetings, um, where every team member um, explains what he did the day before, what he's going to do that day, and if, an, if he had any impediments that was blocking his work. Um, and the Scrum Master conducts these daily stand-up meetings to track the st status of the uh, project. Uh, a bunda a burnt-down chart was used to create uh, to track the progress of the sprint and at the end of each sprint two meetings were conducted. One is the sprint review meeting where every member of the team explains what was done during that sp sprint, what was accomplished and demos will be presented by the entire team um, now not only to the team lead but also to the stakeholders. The other meeting that was conducted at the end of each sprint is a retrospect meeting which the Scrum Master conducted and we as a team we discussed about what, what were the good things, uh, uh, what, what was done well during that sprint, what worked well and what didn't work well and what are the other, what could be done to improve uh, the work for the next sprint. Uh, and if there were any user stories or requirements or defects that we were not able to finish in the current spring, those were moved um, to the next sprint. This is pretty much what Agile uh, methodology, Agile Scrum methodology is and it helped us to uh, um, to um, to progress our project and make it a success. So, um, what was your Scrum team consist of in your um, current application project? So, our Scrum team had four developers, two QA testers and one project lead. And of course, the Scrum Master and yes. the product owner also. Yes. yes. Can you tell me the difference between a product owner versus a Scrum